temple's close. Nobu, come! Welcome to the Cyberpunk 2077 2019 Deep Dive video. In last year's gameplay reveal, we showed you our vision for the world of Cyberpunk 2077, its quests, and visual design. This year, we'd like to give you a peek at some of the play styles you'll be able to adopt as your character progresses through the story. Here goes nothing. You're about to see sequences embodying two distinct approaches to playing Cyberpunk. We'll show you a strong solo build, that is, a character who focuses on employing blunt force and taking instant action. And a Netrunner build, a playstyle taking frequent advantage of stealth tactics, hacking, and battlefield control achieved using malicious software. Additionally, you'll learn more about Pacifica, one of the game's districts. Two gangs, the Animals and the Voodoo Boys. And you'll see glimpses of Johnny Silverhand, the digital construct who haunts our main character, V. A word of caution. Given that the video covers a section of the game deep into the main storyline, we have edited the footage to contain as few spoilers as possible. Be aware that the gameplay as presented does reveal characters and locations you'll see while playing the game's main story arc. So watch at your own discretion. Where are we headed? As Polaris's campaign promised, we are This way. 
In this video, you'll experience a segment of a quest from the middle of the game. We're currently in Pacifica, one of Night City's six unique districts. No Pacifica with? Nah. You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. It was designed to be a tourist hotspot within the city. As you can see, this didn't pan out. When uncertainty struck the global economy, investors pulled their funding, leaving most establishments unfinished. It's one of those places where expectations and reality collided, resulting in a heap of disappointment. Ongoing gang wars plague this part of the city. Outsiders don't come here if they don't have to. Even by Night City standards, it's dangerous to those unfamiliar with it. Taking a casual stroll here would not be a good idea. A fast motorbike or armor-plated car would be the safer option. But places like this have their advantages. If you're in need of rare goods or illegal cyberware, Pacifica's bustling local markets are a good place to start your search. The Grand Imperial Mall is a whole other story. It was one of the last developments in Pacifica to lose its funding. Until recently it stood vacant, but now a gang called the Animals has moved in for reasons unknown. Something's not going right for the big guy up top. And that's what we need to learn in order to earn the trust of the Voodoo Boys, the Animals' rivals. What the hell? You could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in. Now. Of the many gangs in Cyberpunk 2077, the Voodoo Boys are the most skilled at using the net. We have now seen the Rizzo Hardware on subnet. Why? What for? You are my vessel now. I see what you see, hear what you hear. This mysterious gang of highly skilled netrunners has close ties to the local Haitian community. You are V? We have been waiting. Haitians settled in Pacifica in the 2060s after natural disasters struck their island and forced them to emigrate en masse. The Voodoo Boys gang formed around this same time, though at a smaller scale. Now the gang effectively rules Pacifica. <laughs> The Voodoo Boys don't usually work with outsiders. Lucky for us, it seems they're prepared to make an exception this time. Mr. Han sent me. He said you got murk work needs doing. Still, to earn their trust, we need to prove our worth. Placide, one of the Voodoo Boys' higher-ups, has offered us a mission. We need to infiltrate the Grand Imperial Mall, currently occupied by the Voodoo Boys' deadly enemy, a gang called the Animals. 2035. Zero seven. Three seconds before, poof, the camionette. We try to learn where the camionette come from. Boy. This calls for something special. Uh. 
In Dying Light 2, we have doubled the number of parkour moves, so let's use some of them now. deep inside a dark zone. Let's run away quickly because the infection will kill us. Hey. UV flashlight, very strong, but needs to be aimed. Oh, come on, come on. Our stamina level seems to be too low to open it. Infection progresses. Our biomarker is turning red. Another way to use UV light is the UV flare. It covers a big area, but lasts only for a few seconds. Which viaduct? It ain't as simple as it seems. They'll try and stop you every step of the way. But you gotta keep moving. No matter what. They've torn us apart. Fractured our society. Hurry, Sam. You know what's at stake. And the only way to save it is in my hands. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's my job to reconnect us. Peter Parker. How the hell are you? The city is in danger. It needs our help. 
all of our help. All right, well, call the play, coach. Gang of costume nutjobs is taking the city apart piece by piece. Time I return the favor. This is opportunity knocking. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. I've ordered Silver Sable and her team to shoot you on sight. This city's had enough of your vigilantism. You're officially an enemy of the people. Come on, Peter! You have like a cell phone in your in your po pockets or something? Sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. You can have it for saving my life. You think he's a keeper? <laughs> oh my god. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Help me! Arlene! <laughs> Have you been a good girl? I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Not real. You're cloud. I have a favor to ask of you. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Yeah! Hold on to that hatred.
found me at last. I suspect you.